discourage litigation. Persuade your neighbors to compromise whenever you can. Point out to them how the nominal winner is often the real loser, in fees, expenses, and waste of time. As a peacemaker, the lawyer has a superior opportunity of being a good man. There will still be business enough. And in the end, it's not the years in your life that count. It's the life in your years. This better people think you a fool, then open your mouth and erase all doubt. I remember my mother's prayers and they have always followed me. They have clung to me all my life. If slavery is not wrong, nothing is wrong. Neither let us be slandered from our duty by false accusations against us nor frightened from it by menaces of destruction, nor of dungeons to ourselves. Let us have faith that right makes might, and in that faith, let us, to the end, dare to do our duty as we understand it. I am nothing, truth is everything. Through their deeds, the dead of battle have spoken more eloquently for themselves than any of the living ever could. But we can only honor them by rededicating ourselves to the cause for which they gave a last full measure of devotion. No man who is resolved to make the most of himself can spare time for personal contention, still less can he afford to take the consequences, including the vitiation of his temper and the loss of self-control. Yield to larger things to which you show no more than equal rights, and yield to lesser ones though clearly your own, better give your path to a dog, than be bitten by him in contesting for the right, not even killing the dog, will cure the bite. I do the very best I can, I mean to keep going. If the end brings me out all right, then what is said against me won't matter. If I'm wrong, ten angels swearing I was right won't make a difference. The will of God prevails. In great contests, each party claims to act in accordance with the will of God. Both may be, and one must be, wrong. God cannot be for and against the same thing at the same time. In the present civil war it is quite possible that God's purpose is something different from the purpose of either party, and yet the human instrumentalities, working just as they do, are of the best adaption to effect His purpose. I am almost ready to say that this is probably true, that God wills this contest, and wills that it shall not end yet. By his mere great power, in the minds of the now contestants, he could have either saved or destroyed the union without a human contest. Yet the contest began, and, having begun he could give the final victory to either side any day. Yet the contest proceeds. Gentlemen, why do you not laugh? With the fearful strain that is upon me day and night, if I did not laugh, I should die. These, the armed forces, are not our reliance against a resumption of tyranny in our fair land. All of them may be turned against our liberties, without making us stronger or weaker for the struggle. Our reliance is on the love of liberty which God has planted in our bosoms. Our defense is in the preservation of the spirit which prizes liberty as the heritage of all men, in all lands, everywhere. Familiarize yourselves with the chains of bondage, and you are preparing your own limbs to wear them. Accustomed to trampling on the rights of those around you, you have lost the genius of your own independence, and become the fit subjects of the first cunning tyrant who rises. It will not do to investigate the subject of religion too closely as it is apt to lead to infidelity. But for this book, we could not know right from wrong. Never do anything for anyone who can just as well do it themselves. People who have no vices, have very few virtues. With educated people, I suppose, punctuation is a matter of rule, with me, it is a matter of feeling. But I must say I have great respect for this semicolon. It's a useful little chap. Truth is generally the best vindication against slander. In this age, in this country, public sentiment is everything. With it, nothing can fail, against it, nothing can succeed. Whoever molds public sentiment goes deeper than he who enacts statutes, or pronounces judicial decisions.